Let's talk about some small um, particles that we share this universe with. Um, negative pi mesons and mu mesons are two different kinds of electrons that are a little heavier than electrons. And when I say little, I mean many, many times. Um, so if an electron is TNT, then a mu meson may end up being something like an H-bomb. Now, it's only bad or dangerous, these mu mesons, uh, or these negative pi mesons, when they undergo spallation. Uh, two L's. And spallation occurs as an event. Before spallation, the particle is just like a regular electron and leaves no trace. And afterwards, there's a huge spike in... Um, what the particle does. And what it does is release an incredible amount of energy. Now, in most scenarios, you would not really view these as good things. But uh, under cancer treatment, these things can be lifesavers because they could enter your body uh, without bothering anything and then get to the melanoma, the uh, tissue that's turned carcinogenic, and then release all their energy, killing only the right kind of cells. <clears throat> now I'm so liberal that I think that there aren't any right kinds of cells to kill. <laughs> And if we could only turn cancerous cells into our corner, have them help us, instead of hurt us, that would be ideal. But for anybody familiar with biology or medicine, you have to realize that that's usually not the case. Um, some cells genuinely are cancerous and genuinely are dangerous. So the trick then, is determining which ones are and which ones aren't. Now, mu meson and negative pi meson treatments recognize cancerous cells because they treat hard cancerous cells, uh, places where you know that there's a tumor. But if you're not certain whether a cell is cancerous or not, you can't start bombarding it with you know, small particles that are going to explode. So identifying the problem again, and as you know, in almost all aspects of life, is the fundamental challenge with using pretty much any kind of treatment, whether it's cultural, whether it's biological, physical. Uh, identify the problem and then put your um, tools to the task. Goodbye.